Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. Looks a little different. That's because I'm using a webcam now. I finally have a webcam again. I had gotten rid of it. Long story. Not a particularly interesting one. I'll tell it in the description. How about that? I won't waste your time with it here. But we're just kind of zhuzhing up the production a little. It was fun to do it on the phone for a little while. Fun little throwback to the old days of round the wheel sound but you know we run a professional operation around here so uh we're gonna do this on a webcam and uh what better what better product to debut on the webcam than a premium product the mystery booster mystery boosters are uh they're just kind of that they're full of random cards there's nothing new or original in a mystery booster there are 15 cards in a mystery booster out of a curated list of 1700 so with cards from all over magic are in this thing this was uh 15 at my local game store and it's got the usual assortment of commons uncommons and rares and it can also have uh what's called a test card it's a it's a black and white card with a doodle on it that basically has some kind of oddball mechanic that's not really part of the game but that r d thinks is interesting or is messing with or testing or considering for a future set now, that is my understanding of the mystery booster and i made sure the guy at the local game store picked a nice random one out of the out of the display case not just the one in the back we want our random pack to be truly random so we're going to look at a mystery booster today and see what's inside we'll see how much of this i recognize and how much i don't uh the pack is I don't know if they open like this ordinarily or if they're backwards or what, but we're starting with a Battle Bond card. This is a shoulder to shoulder. Support two. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to each of two Tart creatures and draw a card. And then we move on to Dragon's Eye Sentry from Dragons of Tarkir. I can tell by the... I can usually tell sets by the three initials. I can... If I have that, I'm, I'm on pretty good ground. Defender and first strike a one three with defender and first strike not too bad for a common. I'm I'm into that We got the coral trickster here from a from a dual deck. It looks like I don't know which dual deck is in Maybe it's merfolk versus something uh, the dual like d-u-e-l like a duel like did it did it did it did it a duel This is a coral trickster when it's turned face up you may tap or untap target permanent send to sleep from magic origins Tap up to two target creatures for two mana. And if there are two or more instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard, those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap steps. We're getting a nice little assemblage here. Lethal Sting from Hour of Devastation. Uh, let's see. Minus one, minus one. As an additional cost, put a minus one, minus one counter on a creature you control. Destroy target creature. Okay. All right. I can get with that. A Dead Eye Tormentor. Another black one. This one's from Ixalan. The original Ixalan set. It's got the raid mechanic. Raid? <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm being stupid. When it enters the battlefield, if you attack with a target creature this turn... If you attack with a creature this turn, target opponent discards a card. That's not too hard to trigger. A Fury Charm. This is from Iconic Masters, it looks like. Red plus one. You get to choose one. I love the charms. They usually have, they usually have quite a bit going on for them there. Uh, there's lots of fun stuff. Plus one, plus one, and trample. Destroy an artifact. Remove two time counters from target permanent or suspended card. Ooh, that should uh, that should go pretty swimmingly with our some of our time spiral remastered stuff. Firebrand Archer. I just put this in a mono red deck. Uh, this is from Hour of Devastation. This is a great spell for a mono red direct damage burn deck. Ferocious Jing. From uh, Global Series one. This is from one of the. This is from one of the Global Series decks that featured the, the Chinese Planeswalkers. I think this was from the Zhang Yanggu one. A vanilla four four. Not terribly exciting. Natural Connection. This looks like it's from another dual deck. DD. This is from Dance Dance Revolution. You can. Oops, I bumped it. You can tell. You can tell on the bottom here. It's from, from Dance Dance Revolution. Search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tapped, and shuffle your library. For three mana, ugh, no thank you. Contraband Kingpin, black and blue, an etherborn rogue, one four, 
With lifelink, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. That's from Kaladesh. All right. And we're moving on to Artisan of Kozilek. This is from a commander. This looks like Commander Anthology 2, if I have the initials and the emblem right. Nine casting, ten nine Eldrazi. When you cast this spell, you may return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. And it has Annihilator 2. Whenever this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices two permanent. That's yucky. <laughs> oh, those Eldrazi. The Eldritch Horrors. You can see the artwork. It doesn't look like much of anything. Well, it's not a, not a terribly sharp picture, but here we are. Uh, what is what is going on here? This looks like our rare. Okay. Dungrove Elder. Green plus two. A star star from Core Set 2012. A tree folk with hex proof and its power and toughness are each equal to the number of forests you control. That's a Timmy card if I ever saw one, but that looks like our rare here today. And there's something else behind this at least. Oh, another rare. A Prey Caesar Dragon. Red, red, four. A four, four dragon with flying and devour two. You can sacrifice creatures that have plus one, plus one counters put on it. When Prey Caesar Dragon attacks, it deals damage to target creature player equal to the number of plus one, plus one counters on Prey Caesar Dragon. This is from PCA. I don't know what that set is. That must be like a... Must be like a game night set or something. There's something behind this. Here. Oh, and a foil too. Mind funeral. That's a fun mill card. <laughs> Black plus blue plus one. Sorcery. Target opponent reveals hands from the top of his or her library until four land cards are revealed. That player puts all cards revealed this way into his or her graveyard. Interesting. Interesting little assemblage of cards we got here. I wanted to get a mystery booster because, you know, I wanted the mystery. Wanted to see what it was all about. And uh, also, I wanted to show off doing whatever it's like in front of a webcam here. So, uh, sorry for all the grunge on the monitor back here. I really ought to clean that off. Maybe zhuzh this place up with some decorations. I don't know, but uh, that's uh, two rares and a foil. I don't know if that's common for for a mystery booster or not. But uh, some, uh, some wild stuff here. A wild mix of cards. And boy, that, that mill card... Until four lands are revealed. Holy moly. That could uh, that could really kick some decks in the pants. But uh, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time with uh, with more magic shenanigans. Going with the, uh, going with the webcam from here on forward.